Hello guys, welcome to Mirian TV. This is Mirian and uh, this is What's Trending Corner by Mirian. So guys, if you haven't checked the update that I just uh, posted for you guys, you can just go back and check. Probably from there now you can, you know, understand where we are coming from or what this story is about. That will help you understand even much better because I had explained and broke down a lot of things. So maybe if we are here, if I can just give the continuation. Vincent Boyer, he had, you know, requested people to contribute for him via his Instagram page saying that he has been arrested and accused of rape he even posted a video you know suggesting that he was in jail of him crying and uh, people uh, tend to have or rather these uh, tend to have not rubbed you know netizens in the right way because they kept on complaining on how he was with the phone in the jail in the first place how he was even recording himself others even saying he was forging others saying he was practicing recording record one record two uh, for him to have a perfect outcome for him to post <laughs> I mean, with even some people complaining, asking why is he asking for support? Why is he wanting people to support him? I mean, like, why hasn't he saved? Why does he want the people he has not been sharing the money with to support him? Why can't he go to his fellow celebrities to support him or the people he's been sharing the money with? You know, there was a lot of, uh, you know, uh, comments on this case and even uh, me wondering what you guys could have thought about the entire situation, whether you think uh, people uh, misjudge celebrities so much, thinking that they are not supposed to ask for help when they're just like normal other people who whom we can say it's okay for them to ask for help as well and even said if you guys also thought if there's a lot of stigma built around celebrities that, that even makes them you know to commit a you know suicide because some even think now i mean shit i can't even ask now you know for help because a lot of people see me in a certain way and this event results you know people committing suicide others you know even just dying of depression i don't know what you think about that entire situation anyway with us reading the same comments there was one person that came and left here a comment that actually really captured my eye if you remember very well if you know vincent by when he was starting his youtube channel he was not really performing well because a lot of people were really criticizing him and even he could even post pictures they were just getting you know average response but then he got somewhere where he decided to you know to change and do his positive things and people really loved him fully he gathered a lot of views and also his uh, subscribers grew now this is where he even started getting you know some of the deals and uh, we remember when there's a time he traveled to go to dubai and when he was going to dubai remember very well kabi wajizas and milu wajiz are some of the people that played a big role in his they really wanted you know to be part of this success story and just apart from milu wajizas there's also uh the pastor Wairuinge. and what milu wajizas and kabi wajizas did they came because vincent boy had a problem with the teeth the front teeth had uh, discolored probably it's a problem he had from long ago but they decided to be part of this success story by taking him you know to one of the dentists they were advertising for so they took him there and he had teeth changed teeth repairs and he got back his white teeth again because they felt like because he's going to dubai let him be comfortable to smile there to talk to people to interact even with dignitaries or whoever he will meet there on the way so that was it and of course a lot of people were so happy that they were able to do that for him and so by the time vincent boy gets to dubai he even gets content there shares with his audience you can just go and check on his youtube channel he comes back to kenya or rather when he was even sharing the content on this youtube channel he shows him buying you know some gifts for the jesus family he comes and even uh, gives them gives them the gifts and uh, we knew hmm indeed he has done something you know probably to reciprocate their love for him or even what they did for him so he comes and of course handed the gifts to him and that's what it ended but then when we fast forward today when vincent Mboya just posted on his instagram you know saying that he's been arrested and being accused of rape and that he was even asking for support if at all he was going to be granted bail or bond a lot of people came criticizing him again saying that why is he asking for the support and all that what i've just explained to you guys and among the comments there was the comment by coach patrico you know who is coach patrick onyango this is a personal trainer based in dubai and so we can clearly see he lives in dubai or stays there this is a guy who has expressed himself here in the conversation and we'll find a lot of times men don't even come out to express you know whatever they they go through or they don't even say anything so probably for him to come and even write this comment and it is a public comment we can't even say it's wrong because for him to even write that in the first place he knows people are going to see 
see it and he knows even if it is a lie it's going to get him in big trouble so for him sharing this so probably it's true or it's not true but i'm just going to read the comment and you guys can maybe just go ahead and give your suggestions and tell us what you think about it so coach patrico writes here and says uh just under the you know the photo and uh, the video of vincent boy had written asking for support in case he'll be granted bail and our bond so he comes and writes there in the comment section god's doing you came to dubai with 15k kenyan shillings cash you weren't able to buy anything not even food after you were dumped by bonfire adventures in a shitty hotel in Deira. i came through as a brother and help out i took you shopping even the gifts you gifted kabiwa jesus and your mom i'm the one who paid for you promised to repay ukifika kenya but instead ulifika ukani block what goes around comes around and small bro and of course we can see there are some uh replies under there another one saying kama is the best you are blessed and another one just here expressing their disbelief you know just under the comment so so coach patrico says that bonfire adventures dumped you know vincent boy in dubai and he only had 15,000 kenyan shillings he had no means of you know feeding himself he is the one that came through for vincent boy you know to provide him with to take him around to even buy the gifts that he gifted his mom remember vincent boy bought his mom gift and they were just family as i have just explained so he comes out and sees that he's the one who actually bought the gift for them for jesus family and he's the one as well who bought the gift for his mom so that he comes to kenya and he will refund the money that is according to the agreement they had with the vincent mboya but then uh, upon reaching kenya vincent mboya goes ahead to block him so i don't know what you think guys i don't know what you think probably if this correct is it not correct if it is true probably do you think he should not have come to write you know publicly or do you just think it was just okay for him to write publicly because he says he's tried to reach him but he has blocked him or probably do you think there's another way he could have you know reached him i don't know what you think yeah just be sure to go ahead and comment in the comment section below yeah just tell us what you think you know in the comment section and tell us have you ever been in a position where you are having somebody over or just somebody just travel to a new place where you are and they have no means and you help them and what was were the results how did it go or maybe in a position where you were supposed to be refunded money or to be refunded goods how did it go did that person block you did they communicate back were they like i know right now things are hard but with the time i'm going to give you back the money or just what do you think about the entire issue you know of helping because again we can't say that people should not be helping each other because we all need each other and this even starts from even our own country you know from to families to friends you know even that's why we even have loans and things like those so do you think like people are just not supposed to be helping out or, or probably they should help but they should know how to handle it such that when it comes to a point where you're trying to reach the other person and they have blocked you these are where you can still you know get back your money your goodies i don't know just be sure to comment down below in the comment section let us know what you think and of course like 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 this video subscribe if you haven't turn on your notification bell so that you get notified every time i make a post let me see y'all in the next one bye bye